close your eyes for a second. Now, touch your nose. Chances are, that's not too hard a task, but just how do you do it? I mean, you can't see your finger, or smell, or taste it for that matter. And I'm assuming you're not a bat or dolphin, so echolocation is ruled out. You might say you feel your nose, but go ahead and try it again. You don't really touch around until you sense your nose, you more or less take your finger straight to it. The question is how? Well, just like our brain sends signals to move our muscles, our muscles also send back information about how they've moved. Different sensors give feedback on info like the length of the muscle or the amount of weight it's carrying. For instance, the length of a muscle is detected by receptors called muscle spindles. These spindles lie buried in your muscles, alongside the fibers that actually contract and move your body. So as your muscle contracts, it contracts, and sends signals to your brain about how it's contracting. On the other hand, the tension in your muscles is noticed by the Golgi tendon organs. These don't sit in your muscles, but rather at their end, in the tendons that connect muscle and bone. And because they're here, they don't know the length of the muscle, but they do know how much tension is pulling on the muscle, and they send that info to your brain. On its own, the signals from any individual sensor or type of sensor doesn't really tell you much, but together with enough of this information, our brain can create a kind of unconscious map of where our body is and how it's oriented in space, without having to actually see our organs. Or touch, or smell them for that matter. This sense of your body's location in space is not sight, or touch, or smell. It's called proprioception, the ability to sense your body's spatial arrangement, and it's one of many you weren't taught in grade school. Some other senses you probably don't think about, but definitely have, are your senses of balance, temperature, pain, hunger, and yes, whether or not you need to pee. All of this is to say that we have a wide variety of ways to interact with the world and gather data. While the five senses is a neat way of thinking about some of the most important ones we use, we're actually underselling ourselves. Or, in other words, perhaps the idea of humans having just five main senses doesn't exactly make much sense.